Hi guys, welcome to TickBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 25H2 update, the past Tuesday that was released a few days ago. I've made a video about it in which I talked about everything that there is to it, so make sure to check that video out first if you want to do so. But in this video, we're going to talk about some issues and some problems that have been discovered after the release of this update. Unfortunately, it seems that with each update, Microsoft is also slipping some issues and some problems inside the operating system. So I I think we need to be aware of them and uh, at least postpone the update if some of the issues are too bad. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, let me show you the update that I'm talking about for those of you who haven't installed it or haven't searched for updates in days. If I were to go to system and then scroll into the about section, you're going to notice that we have the build 26200.7623 or build code KB5074109. This is the update basically that was released a few days ago. The patch Tuesday or the B release for the month of January, the first update for the main release in 2026. The first problem or problems that users have been reporting all over Reddit and even Twitter is that the gaming performance is really, really bad in this update. And there have been numerous users, especially those with Nvidia cards, but I also saw reports of other cards as well that have a significant drop in gaming performance black screens, frame rate decreasing, and so on. And as I've said, even Radeon cards have seen this black screen issue. In my opinion, the best thing to do right now is to pause the updates or Windows Update. So just go to Settings, Windows Update, then click on Pause for one week, and then make sure you update your graphics card drivers. If you're on Radeon or Nvidia, make sure you have those drivers updated. And then you can just wait a week maybe to reinstall that update until Microsoft fixes a few things, or just install it right away. In my opinion, you shouldn't have any issues if you have all your drivers updated. I think the main issue is that sometimes Windows is not doing well with outdated drivers for certain graphics cards, so make sure to pay attention to that. Also, some users reported that even opening Task Manager can cause driver timeouts, so I think that is pretty, pretty funny, and I'm not sure what this would be related to. Fortunately, on this machine and on my main machine, I don't have these issues, but these are some issues that you need to be aware of. Unfortunately, the things that I've talked about just now are not officially acknowledged by Microsoft, so it is not necessarily something completely related to the update. As I've said, it could be a combination between the update and the outdated drivers for certain graphics cards, but hopefully not a lot of you will have these issues. Now also on Microsoft's official blog post, they have acknowledged a new known issue in this update, and that is after installing the January 2026 security update KB5074109 that was released on January 13, 2026, credential prompt failures occur during remote desktop connections using the Windows app on Windows Windows client devices impacting Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. The issue affects Windows app on specific Windows builds, causing sign-in failures. And Microsoft is also providing a workaround. If you are affected by this issue, use one of the following connection options as a workaround. Either use the remote desktop client for Windows to connect to Azure Virtual Desktop, you can get it from the official Microsoft blog post, or just connect by using the Windows app web client at windows.cloud.microsoft. And Microsoft is also stating that they are working to release an out of band update to resolve this issue in the coming days and more information will be shared when it becomes available. So in my opinion, it is best to wait a bit before installing this update because as you can see, there are a few issues and hopefully these will be fixed in that out of band update that was released. If you have encountered any other issues after installing this update, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'm going to make sure to read all of them. And of course, this is the video for today. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.